Today we will see what is it like to meet Priyanka Chopra. This video is brought to you by Question Repons, the channel where you will find the answer to everything. Today the answers will be presented by Stacey Amanda Singh, Naharika K, John Davis and Jagdip Madan. We will start with the first answer of Stacey Amanda Singh. I have met Priyanka Chopra three times. I consider myself extremely fortunate to have had the opportunity to meet and interact with her on multiple levels. The first time I met Priyanka it was in August of 2013. Priyanka had came to New York City to promote her international album and her film. Planes. I heard she was going to be at Good Morning America Studios and I knew this was my chance to meet her. So I went and I was a bit late so I thought she had left but I saw a black car pulled up and I knew it was her. I froze. Eventually I went up to her and she politely told me that after her interview she promised to interact with me. So I waited. She could have easily went through the back entrance of the studio to avoid me but she kept her promise she came out and walked right to me. We posed for pictures and I gave her a card. She immediately recognized my Twitter name and said, Oh so you are Stacy Super Duper. I freaked out and asked her if she knew my name. And she said, Of course I know you Stacy. She hugged me like twice and held my hand the entire time. After our meeting she tagged me in Twitter and Instagram showing her gratitude. I mean who does all that for fans? Only Priyanka. Now the second time I met Priyanka again in NYC and she came to promote her single I Can't Make You Love Me. I had a RSVP to watch her music video and interact with her again. I met her mum who was more than gracious. There were hundreds of people from the press, fans, etc. all waiting to meet Priyanka and she interacted with every single person. I remember going up to her and shaking like crazy. She spoke to me like I was someone important and not just a fan. And she remembered my name. I remember handing her a bracelet and she told me to put it on her wrist. Can you imagine? My hands were shaking of course but I eventually put it on her and she wore it throughout the rest of the evening. We took selfies and she gave me hugs. I died. Now the third time she came to NYC to shoot for Quantico. There was a whole line of fans stretching to a block and a half down. It was her lunch break however Priyanka skipped lunch and made sure to meet and greet with every single person on the line. We met again and posed for pictures. She loved my gifts and she gave me the tightest hug ever. My phone case has the coolest picture of Priyanka ever with her pink Harley bike and she noticed it. She took my phone and legit talked to me about how much she loved my phone case and she talked about her bike. She told me to tell everyone that's my pink Harley. In total Priyanka is the coolest person you will ever meet. She's one of the biggest celebrities in the world but she's humble, kind and so down to earth. She treats you like a friend. She's coming back to shoot for Quantico season 2 in NYC. So you never know there may be a fourth time. Update, it did happen for the fourth time. Note, I am not a stalker, I would never go about doing that. Just someone who's a dedicated fan and extremely lucky. The following answer is from Naharika K. Okay so this was ages ago 2005-06. I was out with family for dinner and she was there in the same hotel for a press conference for Spice. She was the brand ambassador for them at that time. She was a rising star back then but still a huge deal. I remember I heard people shouting her name and that's when I got to know that Priyanka is here. I saw her leaving the hotel after maybe finishing her press conference. She was walking towards the exit and her bodyguards were accompanying her she was looking beautiful in a blue sari and believe me she was as tall as her bodyguards. I was a kid back then in 5th or 6th standard I got really excited and I didn't want to miss the opportunity of meeting her especially when the star is in your city. I arranged a pen and paper to get her autograph and rushed towards her till the time I reached she was about to sit in her car I asked her for her autograph even though there was a huge crowd and she was just about to leave she smiled and gave me her autograph and I thanked her. I found her really sweet and humble. I came back home and pasted that paper in my autograph diary. I'll see if I can find that diary I'll add a photograph to the answer. Smiley face. What do you think? We will continue with John Davis's answer. Well, I met her once during an award ceremony in Mumbai. I was representing my company as a sponsor of the show and I got an opportunity to go backstage where she was chatting with a few people. Being an ardent fan, I went up to her and introduced myself. She, being her casual self, was very grounded and friendly. I told her how big a fan I was of her work and how I followed her progress closely. She thanked me graciously for the compliment and obliged for a selfie and an autograph. But big stars are overly busy and access this answer and support the author as a Quora Plus subscriber. Access all answers reserved by John Davis. For Quora Plus subscribers, access exclusive answers from thousands more participating creators in Quora Plus. Browse ad free and support creators. Start free trial. Learn more. The following answer is from Jagdip Madan. I met Miss Chopra 365 times in a year. She comes daily in my dreams continuously without break in a year and I don't know believe rumors that she come late on sets. It was love on first sight when I spended 150 rupees on her movie Musha Shadi Karogi by seeing he movie having Salman and Akshay and I was ready to enter screen to marry her by people in theater resisted. People are always against true love. She is extremely beautiful. Initially I used to love to meet her but later on I realized that she is not going to make breakfast for me so I stopped seeing her movies but she was so interested in me that she was coming to my dreams daily. Then I told my wife. 
My wife wear high heel sandals and she closed the room and put the TV at highest volume and used sandals there my dreams became totally free of any female characters and I didn't have malaria because female mosquito refused to bite me sarcasm sincerely love a boy heart. Edit 1 I told my wife that only girl in love can remove all clothes in front on his boyfriend but my wife told me some bullshit that they have to show some glamour to lease director but I am medical student and I know body parts and they never taught any body part called glamour in MBBS. The video is over, thank you for staying until the end. I hope the video has you more, if so you can subscribe and activate the bell to miss any video. Also remember to leave a like. Here is the end of the video, leave a comment to tell us if these answers are more useful to you. See you soon.